You can't live in a civilised, coherent society if you don't accept there is fact and fiction. In your opinion. It's not my opinion, it's a fact. If you it's can't not accept a fact, fact how can you accept cancel culture? When you have such a highly moralised view of yourself, I think it's not only wrong, but I think it's pretty evil. Oh my god, is that it? I want to touch everyone. <laughs> Why am I an arsehole? <laughs> Why am I an arsehole? I believe cancel culture is completely out of control. These people are sheep and that's why we're in such a scary, quite terrifying position right now when it comes to free speech. What I can't stand is people who think that hate speech is freedom of speech. It's not. If you're taking away someone's existence, insulting them because they're black or a woman or gay, well then you're not giving them freedom, you're taking that away. What's your opinion on cancel culture? I kind of hate the term cancel culture in oh, many ways. It's not that you're trying to cancel them, it's that you're trying to get people to do better, to be more understanding, oh. to not oppress minority groups. Well, there you go, you, sh you, sh you show your childishness when you react like that. Because, because it's just typical. Of, I just want people to do better, in your opinion, though. Well, I, I think, actually, <laughs> this idea that it is the left that are trying to be moral arbiters is ridiculous. You know, it is a rewriting of history. Just 55 years ago in this country, it was a complete criminal offence to be gay. Just, this 30, is the point. just let me finish my point. What we're seeing now that you claim to call cancel culture, it's no such thing. What you're having is these minorities reclaiming their power, trying to take back some space right, in society. No. And I'm afraid you've got the bigots at the top that are running scared. See, this is the issue with a lot of people like you who agree with all of this stuff. You use grievances from the past to justify your tyrannical the and, sens the past and censorious today. behavior. I don't know why you're shaking your head. Because, because it's nonsense, mainstream, it's not. There's too many coincidences to just say that this doesn't exist and it's a rewriting of history. People like you, I know you think that you're coming from a nice and cuddly and cosy place, but actually I think you're pretty dangerous because what you are doing is imposing your own moral outlook on the world. And when you have such a highly moralized view of yourself and such a self-righteous view, I think it's not only wrong, but I think it's pretty evil. The reason why you should have things like fact checkers and Facebook and Here Twitter not promoting false narratives is because you can't live in a civilised coherent society if you don't accept there is fact and fiction. In your opinion. It's not my opinion, it's a fact. If you it's can't accept a fact, fact, how can you accept opinion. cancel I'm culture? It's about one political belief. One political belief is acceptable and the other isn't. But I tell you what, you know, you don't have a right to be homophobic to me and I don't have a right to be racist to you. No, live side I, by side. I actually, I, I do have a right to offend you. That's simply a consequence of free speech. Free speech is about offending, possibly. And it, when you can't offend, you can't speak. Yeah, but reminds you're me taking of... away someone else's free speech when you use hate speech. I'm not. When you, if when you, you can't, you, no. It, you're going it's towards, about hate. Yeah, but you're going and towards hate extremes. ain't free speech. You're hate is taking away other people's though. free speech. I don't think we're going to agree. I'm pretty happy to. Not agree with you. Oh my God, is that it? Look, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of anxious to have the debate, but not as anxious as I am to have that. To be honest, I cannot believe I'm even doing this. It's just not socially acceptable. Anyone would think we'd completely lost it. <laughs> I've never been tempted to do this before, but I do think we live in contested, angry times. So I tell you what, if it takes this medicine to make that calm and find some agreement, then maybe I'm up for some of your alternative facts. This will transport yes. me to your woke reality where everyone's moral and those that don't subscribe to our moral views get struck down by the woke gods. You know, I'm not sure that I'm going to end up like Enoch Powell at the end of this, but I am open to changing my mind and learning about other people's views. And hopefully in that process, we're going to find some higher ground. Really, I have a sneaking suspicion that I'm just going to become further radicalised. We open the direction of the West.
out onto the south. Well. Oh. <laughs> that was something else completely. Something else. <laughs> I want to touch everyone. <laughs> oh. I don't see myself anymore as left, right, centre. You know, I was in one tribe and you were in the other tribe. <laughs> yeah. But now I, I feel the oneness. But the power of it is that it was through the division that we understood the unity. So true. Like, it was the fact that we have different opinions that made me realise we're united. So true. Like, I wasn't a conscious being, but I grew afterwards. I grew like... You know, like a new plant. Oh. <laughs> Remember that in. <laughs> when it comes to like different political views, I've always felt like those values present themselves in, in how people act, their personality. But now I realise that all of that is just noise. There was, there was a point where I, all I could think when I was trying to process it was like, why am I an arsehole? <laughs> <laughs> why am I an arsehole? <laughs> Like, that was all I could think. I was like, God, you're a nightmare. <laughs> you get wound up in your own ag aggression and your own lives and your own yeah. mental congestion. And, and I just felt like, oh, no, I'm, I'm going to not be an arsehole in my day-to-day -day life. <laughs> right? It makes perfect sense. I think it's going to spur me to try and connect with the deeper reasonings behind, behind why people feel the way they do. But at the same time... I'm still gonna speak my truth. I mean, I didn't know what to expect. It's like, you know, I, I experienced death. I experienced ego death. There was no one there. I wasn't there. It was just feeling, just a feeling of ecstasy because I was, oh my God, it's a happy story. I'm it's the happy gorgeous. one in the story. I didn't expect that because I couldn't have been further from that the other day. I want to jump on this seat like <laughs> Tom Cruise on Oprah. But... For me, it was being everywhere all at once at the same time. I just, it just came to me all at once. Mm. And it all just made sense like, like that, like that. I think I could only describe it as the most profound experience of my life. You know, I died. I experienced the twilight. I, I, As I started to process what had happened, I realised I'm scared. I'm, af I'm afraid as a person. I'm, wow. I feel threatened a lot. And I felt, that, I felt that lift. I felt that go. You know, the question isn't, whether something like this, whether something like magic mushrooms are medicine. The question isn't should it be legal, the question is should it be mandatory? I think I'm going to remember this um, trip, this experience, this experiment for the rest of my life actually. That's how like life changing it's actually been. Like, it's, I get emotional just thinking about sort of the depth of it. I'm grateful. I felt like I've said hello to myself for the first time. Mm. So, yeah. I just want to hug you. Oh. Hold your hand. Um, I think you're a genuinely good person, actually. I feel your warmth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? There's an honesty to you that I didn't see before. I think maybe because I felt threatened by people of the opposite view. And I realised there's a... Like, it's real and it's honest and it's sincere and I quite like you. What? <laughs> you like me? I quite like you, yeah. <laughs> I quite like you. God, what was in this? You know, I, I usually hate... I just want to hug everyone and yeah, touch I everyone. Usually hate, I usually say you can look but not touch. Same here. I hate being like... <laughs>
Oh, oh, oh.